Let's talk about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and the ability to focus in all people. A few key points just to mention here. First of all, intense focus is possible in all people, including those with ADHD. It's actually well known in the clinical community that treats ADHD. How does that occur and why is it only occurring in certain activities? Well, it turns out to relate to something called the mesolimbic reward pathway. This pathway involves some brain structures with names like the VTA and NA, ventral tegmental area, nucleus accumbens. You don't need to know those names. But it also heavily involves this brain area called the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in thinking, planning, and action, but also harnessing our attention and energy toward particular cognitive or physical activities. People with ADHD, in fact, all people that are very interested in something, very curious about an outcome or vested in an outcome, can engage this pathway that provides the opportunity for more focus. Dopamine is the neuromodulator which amplifies the activity in this pathway. Dopamine as a neuromodulator biases the likelihood that this pathway, including the prefrontal cortex, will be activated. And drugs like Ritalin, Adderall, Modafinil, Armodafinil, and a few others I'll mention in a moment, allow the amount of dopamine available in this pathway to be increased or allow the dopamine that's in the pathway already to last longer in the synapses. It sort of depends on the mode of action for these different drugs. The way that all these drugs work, as well as the way that caffeine works, is to amplify the role of dopamine and thereby this pathway. Now, caffeine is an interesting one because caffeine does increase dopamine, but to a minor extent. The main mode of action by which caffeine increases attention, not just energy, but attention, is by increasing the density and efficacy of dopamine receptors. So chronic caffeine users, sometimes it's thought, are actually treating a kind of low-level ADHD, not just trying to get their alertness up, but their level of focus up, again, by increasing dopamine receptors. So we're starting to see a theme emerge where dopamine and the prefrontal cortex seem to be the linchpins of attention, and indeed they are. There's some other interesting compounds that are out there now, the racetams, which are gray market some places, illegal other places, and legal, sold over the counter in the US. And then there's these new classes of compounds. They're really not that new, but they're starting to gain more attention. These over-the-counter compounds like Nupept and alpha-GPC, which is basically a choline donor. So these actually work through the cholinergic pathway, increasing acetylcholine transmission and or availability. And the way they do that is by limiting the enzymes that break down acetylcholine or engineering more acetylcholine production itself. Very interesting compounds. Obviously, you have to check the margins for safety for you. And last but not least, I cover behavioral protocols. I'll just briefly summarize those. There are two behavioral protocols that are actually supported by the scientific literature for increasing focus in all people. One is a 17-minute focus training where eyes are closed and the focus is on so-called interoception being able to or trying to count heartbeats, pay attention to cadence of breathing. There is evidence that even a single one 17-minute focus training can have very long-lasting impact on the ability to harness attention and one's focus even after that meditation. So just one training uh, can limit what are called attentional blinks or the lapses in attention that, of course, we all experience but that are more common in people with ADHD. This target is intended to convey the message that cognitive attention follows visual attention. And there are a few studies now, and the studies are pretty strong, showing that spending 30 seconds to 60 seconds focusing on a visual target at the specific distance that you will be performing a given set of work, so reading, you would want to look at a target like this at the distance that you would read that information, can start to harness some of the brain areas involved in attention and allow for heightened attention over time.